Hi Floss Tube, it is Helen D. Uh, today is Monday, April 12th. I had written down March 12th because in my mind this year, oh, we are very crooked. This year is going very fast. Um, some days drag and then I look at the calendar and I'll be like, oh, it's mid-April, what happened? <laughs> so here we are. Um, I am filming on a Monday today, which is not my typical day. Usually I film on Tuesdays, but tomorrow I get my first vaccine. So I didn't, it's like right in the middle of the morning. It's going to take up a chunk of time. Um, I didn't know if I'd have time afterwards. I don't know how I'll feel on Wednesday. Whatever, I'm filming today. I have a ton of things I should be getting done today. It's 11 o'clock. I've gotten groceries took a shower, pulled some floss, and that's where we stand. <laughs> so I have, I'll be busy. There, there likely will not be any stitching until my son gets picked up from school today, because um, I've got too much to do. Speaking of school, they went back um, full time. The middle school had gone back full time a couple weeks ago, but sixth grade was missing. Um, they were short on teachers, so they had to do some hiring and shifting and all that, but they started back full-time last week, so he went five days last, five days last week. Uh, he was a cranky crank pot on Friday. This week they have four days, they're off on Friday for a teacher day, and then next week is April vacation. In Maine we have a February vacation and we have an April vacation. I don't know why. That's just what they do. <laughs> um, so we don't have any plans. Well, hopefully it will be nice. It's been really nice. Um, although the bugs are starting to come out, which is not so nice, but we'll see. Uh, that is all. My husband's upstairs in a phone call meeting. So hopefully he, you can't hear him and he can't hear me. But when I told Misty and Barbie, we chat on Instagram and I said, you know, school is going to be full time. And they said, oh, Oh, your house will be quiet. I said, well, John will still be here. And Barbie said, can you send him to school? <laughs> no. You wouldn't want him as your sub. So, um, I have quite a bit of stacks of stuff to show. Um, so we'll basically jump in. Thanks for all the love for my drum, the um, Bent Creek Shamrock Row drum. Um, I'm tempted to do more drums now, so we'll see. Uh, that's it. So we will jump in. We'll start with I have two fully finished pieces. I spent some time last week because all of a sudden I have extra days. Um, I spent two days, not two days, I have two things. I spent one day um, working upstairs because he didn't have meetings so I could be in there. So the first one is Chinese Zodiac from Frosted Pumpkin Stitchery. This was a stitch along last year. Um, it's on the called for fabric, which was uh, I think a 14 count picture this plus sand with all the called for floss. Um, one of those is a toile. I think it's the, the dark one in the middle. It's probably not showing up. So I wanted a nice bright frame for this, but I didn't really want red because I'm not an uber red girl. So I found a store on Etsy that will do custom frames. She does, she paints frames and she had a ton of colors and I will link her below. So I special ordered this one, which is an 11 by 11. It's a weird size um, and a 10 by 13. I didn't get to that one this week because after I pinned this one, my finger hurt. So I just didn't. The only problem, and I didn't even think about this, so I ordered them and you know, and it says that she gets, she repurposes frames. So they might be wood or metal or plastic and then she chalk paints them and all, the whole nine. I didn't specifically say, could I have a wood frame? And the frame I got is plastic. Um, not that I care. I don't even think you can tell looking at it. The only reason I care is because I wanted to put glass on this one, but the glass and the spacers and the piece, I can jam in there if I put, um, I have these screw on clippy things that hold things in, 
but I can't screw into it because it's plastic. <laughs> so I had to use the back that came with it, um, which meant I couldn't use the glass. So it's done. And I'm sure if I had said, hey, could I have wood? She would have been more than happy to make that happen. The other one is wood. Again, I just didn't even, it's the first time I'd ordered from her. I didn't even think about it. Um, so that one is done. And then the other piece I finished, fully finished, was Stitching Book Club's <coughs> sense, sense and Sensibility. I have cat-proof water today in my giant cup. Although Emmy put herself to bed, she's up on my son's bed, although then Pepper's down here having her way with my husband's slipper, making lots of noise, so she might come down to see what's going on. So this is how I finished Sense and Sensibility. Mine is larger because I stitched it on 25 count. Um, because I had some and I felt like using it, but that made it big. I used the colorway for the white fabric. I had this frame, it came from Michaels ages ago. It, it didn't have a, it was flat on the back. So I had to just staple some mat board in there. I told my husband, I'm like, I, I guess this is for hanging over like the door peeker from friends because there's no way to hold anything in here. So I cut a circle, an oval for the fabric and then I cut another oval. This one is mounted with a little batting. I have some trim. It's just stuck in here. If I whacked it good on the back, it would pop right out. Um, but I think that came out cute. And then right now I have it on my shelf and it just kind of leans, but I could use a picture holder to hold it up or it does have a hanger. I put a little, I didn't want it rubbing the wall, so I just put a little felt on it. <sighs> Where am I gonna put that one? So that one is done. Um, that's all I fully finished. I did finish a couple things. I finished stitching Gnomes in the Garden Row. Um, I was doing this as a stitch along with Carrie of Carrie and Stitches. Uh, she finished hers too. I just watched her video. So I don't have anything to put behind it. Um, and I didn't bring down the chart because I changed a lot of the colors. I kind of matched what was on the cover and just brightened them up a little bit. So, and there's a lot of colors in this one. When I changed the floss in the shamrock one, there was four colors. There was a lot more than four colors. So I don't know if I'm going to make another drum out of this one or finish it for my, I have a, like a piece of wood that I put them on. I haven't decided. I need to decide though, because I still have my Easter one up and I really want this one up. So. Maybe this week that will get done. Um, then I pulled out, we hit April, so the new section of Tiny Modernist's Zodiac Sal came out. So I'll fold it up now. Um, and it's Taurus, Tauros, Taurus, who oh, that is. My light's not happy with this dark fabric. So there he is. Um, I stitched all that border. I pushed myself and got it done and I'm grateful that I did. So I can just fill in the circles. So that one is uh, kind of a finish, I guess. It was, I'm caught up. So I finished that. That was still on my Q-Snap Monday morning of last week. Monday morning is when the new Pixels That Made Us release comes out. So I'm like, well, that's the Q-Snap I used for that, so let me finish this. So I did, and then I pulled out the Pixels. Can I just say that the floss for this thing? I just pulled, that's what I pulled this morning. Um, I have this box. This morning I filled this box and I had some overflow that didn't fit. So I think I'm gonna need another of this size box to combine them. Um, Justin did say, 
right after I pulled all the floss. We got an email saying, disregard the floss list because he was having computer problems. So I'm not sure. He's sending a new floss list. I don't know if the one we got, usually he breaks it down by letter. So we're on letter M, we will be, this is the floss list for M. So I don't know if, if the list we got just happened to be all of the rest of the floss. I don't know, I'll deal with it when I get his next email. So I'm stitching this on 14, 16, 16 count Alchemy from Picture This Plus. And I don't think you've seen it since I did any of the A. So there's the G. The G was the original Nintendo Entertainment System. The A is Game Boy. So it started with Game Boy, regular Game Boy, which was black and white. And then we turned the corner and we were on Game Boy Color. And then this next one comes inside, because like on the G, they all have kind of two layers. So it will be inside and it is Game Boy Advance. Advance, duh. I'm not sure. <laughs> I never had one. Um, so that will be this week. Usually these take me a couple days. Like I said, I won't get an early start on it today. Um, too much to do. So I finished that. And then I had to decide what I wanted to work on. So I know that a lot of people were doing or are doing Barbara Anna April. They're working on their Barbara Annas this month. And I had made, I looked at my whip list from last year and I'm really, I need to work, I need to finish those. So I have one Barbara Anna that was started and I have a couple more that I'd really like to start this year. So I thought, well, let me pull out the one that started. I don't think it's anywhere close to being finished, um, but I'll work on that for the weekend until the next gamer one comes out. Well, I finished it. <laughs> um, I wasn't expecting to. This is Spellville. This was originally a stitch along through Creative Poppy. It's now available as just a chart. So I had this house, this witch, she had no head, and like, boop, up to there. So I pulled it out, it's only got four colors, and I finished it last night. Um, I did use my own colors. I did not bring them down. They were um, kind of non-standard. It was a Victorian model for the orange, a ship's manner for the yellow. Um, I've got one thread on there. I need to use the little thingy that pulls the threads through that now I can't think of the name of. I need to use that on one of those. And then the black was also a Victorian motto. So that's done. I have no finishing ideas, but it's Halloween, so I'm in no rush. Um, the other one, and actually this was a new start. <clears throat> Easter weekend, I decided I wanted an Easter start. I felt like it. I had purchased this chart, this is a Satsuma Street chart. It was one of her new market charts, but I got it as a PDF. She had a sale before, not market, expo, before expo. It's called Oology, and it is four eggs. They're really, really cute. They're full coverage, but they're small. So I pulled that out and started one of the eggs, the blue egg, the bluebird. Uh, I'm using Picture This Plus Helix, which is a light gray. They're full coverage. You turn them into eggs. Did I have to use a fancy fabric? No, I most certainly did not. But I want to make sure I'm using something I enjoy stitching on, and because I need to mold them into an egg shape, I know that Picture This Plus is super soft, which is why I like it. Um, and it's malleable. <laughs> I can bend it around if I need to, so that will make the finishing easier. So that one I'm leaving on my Q-snap because I'm almost done with my car project, and then I think I'll take that one in the car. So I'm doing Hello Spring, hands-on design. Um, I believe this is Picture This Plus Storm. 
and I'm changing colors. I had a couple people ask about colors and I think I told you what I had pulled and I wish I hadn't because I've changed them. So I will tell you what I'm using. Um, the pink, the white is white. The pink is Victorian Motto Pretty Pink Petals, but it has an equivalent of DMC 151. The green is Classic Color Works Lettuce Leaf. I had pulled a yellow that was too light, so I ended up swapping it for Weeks Dye Works Sally Sunshine. And then the purple did not get shoved in. Oh, here it is. Uh, Color and Cotton Salvia. Um, I was hoping to do the purple area in a blue, but none of the blues showed up enough on my fabric. So <clears throat> this one will get done this week. Um, and then I can pull out oology which I looked up and is the study of birds eggs so that's what I learned this week or last week Easter weekend um, giveaways uh, last video here um, last video I pulled a couple charts that some viewers had sent in so these are past the stash charts this was rooster is what we called it uh, this goes to Christine Pobosik, and then I had these two Bent Creek Snapperland, Spring Snapperlands, and they go to Carol Hebert. Uh, I've already messaged both of you ladies. We'll get those out. Uh, this week, we have charts from Carla at Cobweb Corner. Um, I will link Carla below. She's always generous in sending charts for you guys. Um, she lets me pick them out so I went patriotic this time because a lot of people did Americana April you will not get these in April um, but there's still plenty of time especially one because it's small so giveaway rules be over 18 so you can legally give me your address don't say giveaway uh, please be a subscriber and be nice if you went and checked out Carla's site and subscribed over there as well her floss tube so first of all we have Bent Creek, another one of their eggs. This is eagle on an egg. Um, oh, there goes a cat. So if you're interested in this one, say eagle. It does call for two little buttons. Um, you could use any kind of button, or I might use a smear and a cross stitch, um, or just leave it blank. I don't think you'd tell. And then the other one is Sam and Liberty. So for this one, say Liberty. So Liberty and Eagle. And then Carla sends a couple charts for me. So I got my own copy of Eagle on an egg. And then this was one of my must have expo charts. And it is um, 31st. So I'm working on the Meow block. And this is another block, but it's got like, it says, oh, there it is on the bottom. All reflecty. Um, so it's got like different things. Kathy shows on one of her floss tube videos how you can finish this like this on a row, but I will probably do it as a block. Um, I have a few of the flosses I picked up. Um, I got a couple from Carla and a couple from Abby, Top Knot, when I did that order. Okay, so I think I told you, I, I, uh, I ordered another skein of picnic basket for the gnomes in the garden and I couldn't find it. Abby had it from Top Knot Stitcher Shop. I, my, my ort was about this big, <laughs> but I made it through without using the second skein. The birdhouse roof was called for in that color, but instead of opening the second skein, I just used, I think a black that was in there because I didn't feel like getting up. Um, so that was close. Uh, the only other thing I purchased this week, and I didn't bring it down, was um, I'd been thinking about getting a wool pressing mat. And then when I was watching Lori of Mischievous Stitches a couple weeks ago, um, she mentioned hers and she had it linked in her video. Um, and it was a great price. It was like $21 and it's good size. So I've ordered, I ordered that and it came in. I haven't tried it yet, um, but I've heard a lot of good things about the wool pressing mats. I will have to find a place to put it that it won't then get cat hair all over it. 
but such is life in my house. <laughs> um, plans, I didn't even write anything down. I will work on, I've been kind of the same. I work on the pixel cell Monday and Tuesdays and usually into Wednesday. And then Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, I've been like just picking something, working on it that week end for the four days. Uh, Hello Spring should be finished. I don't know if I want to then just get the oology done this week. I kind of been doing whatever I feel like when those days come around. May 1st, I'm not doing mania. I'm not even doing a one a week mania. I have too many other things going on. Um, but May 1st, um, myself and my friend Patty and Marissa and Michelle, Main Moose Mom, um, and anyone else who wants to join us, we are going to start Turkey Bay by Plum Street. So that's kind of my mania start. Um, and that will be the only new thing I add in in May. And then like I said, I really would like to get some whips off the pile. I counted the other day and I think I'm down to around, I think I'm right around 20. I might be even a little less. But I have, a, I have like three from 2019 and quite a few from last year that I just want to finish up. So we'll see if I can knock another one out. That is all. Uh, I hope everyone has a good couple of weeks into April. Um, vacation week next week, I might get a ton of stitching done. I might get no stitching done. You never know. So I will talk to you guys later. And um, that is all. See you later. Bye.